Let's write the structural formula for 2-pentene. The molecular formula, that's C5H10. But that doesn't really tell us how the atoms are connected or oriented with each other. So when we look at 2-pentene, the ENE, that tells us that we're going to have a double bond between two of the carbon atoms. Pent, that tells us that we'll have overall five carbon atoms in the chain. And the two, that tells us where that double bond's going to be at. So here's our five carbon chain. Right now we have all single bonds, so this is just pentane. So let's number the carbons. So we have our five carbons. So on the second carbon here, that's where we have a double bond. And carbon can only be bonded to four things. Right now each of these carbons here is bonded to five things. So let's get rid of this bond here and this bond here. And note that these bonds here, they're all bonded to hydrogen atoms. That makes this the structural formula for 2-pentene. We have on the second carbon here a double bond, and pent tells us we have five carbons in the chain. One of the challenges we have when we have a double bond here like this is that we can have two different structural isomers. One's called cis and one called trans. Let's take a look at the cis isomer first. So this is 2-pentene. We have 1, 2. There's our double bond, 3, 4, 5, 5 total carbons. And you can see that both of the substituents, the methyl group and then the ethyl group, they're on the same side of that double bond. If we had trans, they'd be on opposite sides. That would look like this. Here again, it's 2-pentene because on the second carbon here, we have the double bond. But now, this methyl group and then the ethyl group they're on opposite sides. So this is a trans isomer of 2-pentene. These isomers will have slightly different chemical and physical properties. This is Dr. B with the structural formula for 2-pentene. Thanks for watching.